What's up, YouTube? It's your boy AB, and we are back with another review. As promised, we are going to be reviewing the Walter PVP today. First and foremost, before we get even started, let's make sure everything is clear. Nothing is in the chamber. Let's give a check on that. Nope. Pinky. Nothing. All right. So before we get started today, man, I want to give a shout out to first and foremost, Bull Armory, Bull Armory for hooking me up with this nice hat. Super cool hat. Really good people over at Bull Armory, man. Customer service is second to none. Really, really, really like Bull Armory. You may hear me stick from time to time because we got this super spacey uh tablecloth from yesterday man we had a um we had a, a little get together yesterday man honoring our fallen brothers from um that protect us every day and keep us safe and keep us covered man and that's that's an awesome thing that they do thank you shout out to all the families that have lost loved ones in the fight for fighting to keep us safe thank you really appreciate that also i want to give a shout out to T5, T5 custom Kydex holster. You hooked me up with this holster for my PDP, which is running a TLR1HL. Look at that. Look at that, would you? That is such a cringy good fit. Look at that. Look at, look at that. That's ridiculous. That's such a cringy good fit. But we're going to get to that. We're going to get to this PDP in a minute, which is super cool. One of the best handguns that you could possibly have. Uh, we're going to do some specs, some specs. Uh, this is my assistant from the last time that was acting up. So we was having some technical difficulty, but what we're going to do now is run through some specs. It is a nine millimeter Luger. It is a steel. It is a steel slide with a polymer frame. It is overall 7.5 inches, not including the TLR. It is, it has a width of about 1.34. Uh, barrel length is four, four uh, inches. Uh, we got a slide radius of 6.4. Trigger reach is seven. No, I'm sorry, 2.76. The grip inch is 5'8". It's a lot of specs on here. We're not going to go down into that. We're going to get into the most important ones. The weight, overall weight, uh, without the magazine is 21.4 ounces. That's not bad. And with the magazine is 24.4. Uh, the weight when it's empty, absolutely empty. It is 15 ounces and it comes with two magazines. Um, that's about it. That's about it. There is no uh, grip safety or manual safety, unless you want to count the dingus. I'm over here. I'm over here. Come back. Yeah, oh, there we go. Unless you want to focus. <laughs> got this thing. It's, it's, uh, it's got a dingus. Dingus. So, uh, dingus is a cringe word to me. I don't know why. But yeah, we're going to go over this PDP. I was going to do an overhead view. I could do an overhead view. I could switch into the overhead view and that'd be cool. But um, the PDP for me is, um, you know what? Let's do the overhead view. Want to do the overhead view? Let's do the overhead view. Let's do the overhead view. All right, we are back. And like before, I wanted to um, do some history with me and Walter. Me and Walther have a very unique history. Walther, uh, my first firearm was a Walther. It was awesome. It was actually a P99. And um, James Bond started like adapting that movie. Like soon as I got the gun, it was in like a James Bond movie, like right then and there, like right there, it was in the James Bond movie. So that was really cool. But I got the gun because on the market at that particular time, it didn't, I didn't see anything that was close to the quality that Walther was putting out. And that was even back then. That was even back then with the P99 when it first came out. 
so I um, I like the P99 I shot the P99 really really well and then for some strange mysterious reason I sold it I sold my P99 and I regretted selling my P99 so much um, and it was like years it was like years before I got another one and then I went from the P99 to the um, to the um, I just I, oh my goodness I just sold that too P99 to the PP so many P's with author um, what was that the PP it just came out again somebody jogged my memory I was I'm, I'm actually thinking about dinner time I'm thinking about <laughs> what I'm going to make for dinner for these kids man and I wanted to get this video in it was a not a PPQ uh, I was feeling somebody say PPQ it wasn't a PPQ it was the P99 it just came out right before this one the one that came out right before this one I had that one and it was okay I didn't like the fact that um, over here with the um, with the magazine where the magazine would would would, um, would fit into the groove, into the in, 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 into the grip, it was like it was like shaky. It was like really shaky. I, I didn't like the fact that it was it was loose. Whenever I held it, it was loose. So whenever I would get a firm grip on it, it although the grip was really really nice, it, it just it just had like a funny little feeling right here. And um, when this came out. I was like, wow, I wonder if they're going to make the same mistake with this one um, like they did with the other one. And it, they did not. They corrected it. They fixed it. This grip is phenomenal. It almost feels soft to the point because it's so contoured to your fingers and to your hand that you can get a good high purchase. I get a really good high purchase when I, when I shoot. And look at the thumb. Look, every maker should do that. I don't know what you guys need to do. But every maker should have a thumb release where it is right there. Look at that. I don't have to break my grip for anything. For anything. As soon as, when I'm holding it, it's perfect. It's planted. It's not going anywhere. I don't have to I don't have to break my grip for anything to close that slide back. I don't. It's 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 just one of the it's one of the perfect combinations between ergo and mechanics that they have mastered they've mastered it that's perfect look at that look at that it's beautiful now what i did like about the p99 was that it had paddle releases mine that was awesome if you ever have a, have a firearm that has paddle releases you will never look at this type of release the same ever because it's so much quicker it's almost more intuitive to drop the to drop the magazine right here it was right here. I wish this had paddle releases. It was awesome. Bop, bop, mag in, mag out. You would drop it right there with your finger. Bop, bop, bop. Wouldn't have to break your grip. You still got your grip. Bop, grab it, boom. You're back in the fight. And that was one of the things that I really, really, really liked about the P99. That was um, that was awesome. I'm not sure whether it was a, a special... Um, that was my light right there. I wasn't sure whether it was a special import or something like that, but I really, really liked the fact that it had paddle holsters. That was, I mean, paddle magazine release. That was awesome. Um, another thing that I really adore about this particular handgun is this super. Is it called Super Terrain? I'm I'm almost certain it's called Super Terrain. The PDP. This is insane. Look at this look look at how deep let me see if I can get that look how deep you can get a nice oh man if you want to do a press check just to make sure it is perfect it's perfect you can get a grip anywhere me personally I'm training myself not to rack with my um with my optic I know the optic can take it it's a Hollison Hollisons are built like tanks although I have a, I have a, uh, I have a, uh, a small gripe, Hollison, um, that we could probably negotiate and talk about. But Hollisons, no doubt, are built like tanks. They're built like tanks. They keep their zero 
through almost anything. I put I put about 500 to 600 rounds through here. And um, she's still smoothing out. Look at this. Look at that. Look how smooth that action is. Not necessarily bar bearing, but woo, it's smooth. Super smooth. The trigger is awesome. I'm really anal about checking, I, even though I checked this firearm, even while we were doing this actual episode, about, I don't know, six, seven times already. I still check to make sure that there's nothing in the chamber. Ultra safety. Okay, we want to maintain ultra safety here on this channel and throughout. So, let's one of the one of the most um, one of the most talked about things about the Walther PDP is its trigger. Its trigger is absolutely phenomenal, top in its class. It rivals a lot of the double stack 1911s that I have because it's such a it's such a forward progressive kind of um, kind of trigger. And then they took it to another level. I haven't felt it, but I heard that they took it to another level with the Pro. So I got to get my hands on one of those. Maybe I can test them out and see. But th look at this. This is this is ridiculous. Look at this. Let me show you what everybody talks about. I know I got my foil background. I hope it's not too distracting. But we, I, like I said, we had that um, we had that um, gathering yesterday. It was really awesome, man. A lot of barbecue, a lot of smiles, a lot of a lot of laughter, and that's um. That's an awesome thing, man, especially when you can do that with your family. I, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to still have my mother and my father here. So anytime I get a chance to spend with them, anytime I get a chance to cook for them or cater to them or just make sure that their day is a lot more brighter than the other day was, then that's a good day for me. And I'm all for that. I will always continue to honor and respect my mother and father. And um, yeah, let me keep going before I get misty. You know what I mean? Mothers and fathers is important. So we're gonna get back to this trigger. Look at this. Right? Let's do that again. Let's start over. Everybody, join me as we slide back. Pull forward. Little bit of take up. Actually, a lot of take up. A lot of take up. And then you're on the wall. You're right there on the wall, and then break crisp. Watch the reset. It pushed my forward. It pushed my finger to the point where it wanted to reset, and then boom. Wow. And it's such a smooth, smooth shooting trigger. It's such a smooth shooting action. Walter has mastered it. It was smooth when I had my PDP, but I had my PDP, not my PDP. I had my PP, um, my P99 at such a young point in my firearm journey that you know you. It's, it's, it's like it's like I didn't know what I had. I didn't really realize you know what I had. So I went from the I went from the the P99. I think I picked up a Sig after that. This was we talking years ago. We talk, I don't want to say double digit years, but we talking double digit years ago. I picked up a 226 and then I sold it because it was heavy. It was ultra heavy. And at the time I was like, you know, I don't want nothing super heavy. I don't want anything to weigh me down. I'm not trying to walk around like, like, uh, 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 like, um, uh, <laughs> like, like, oh, like, um, Oh man, what's his name from from Lethal Weapon, man? Um, a heavy piece like what's his rigs and Murtaugh. I wasn't trying to walk around like Murtaugh with a with with a, with, a, with, with, with with a hammer, a, a, a gun in my waist, so heavy like it was like weighing down. So I was like, nah, man. Let me let me get rid of it. I traded it and I sold it. Actually, I showed it to a guy. We were walking out. Of, he was walking into the gun store. I was walking out. I said, hey, what are you looking at? I was like, you looking to buy something? He said, man, what, what, what you talk? no, 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 not like that. I'm, I mean, I'm, I was selling something and the guy got mad and he was like, hey, you can't be in here soliciting, selling guns in my store and stuff. So, man, we left, went to another gun store. I made the sale and that was it. Picked up another handgun and I was out the door. Yep. And this was years ago, double digit years ago. So I've been on this journey for a nice long time, man. Look how thick that is up there. It's nice. 
I love the profile of this handgun. It looks so rugged. It's so rugged. It works so well with this with this T um, TLR. I love it. It's so rugged. But yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. This was. Um, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm. I'm hoping that they. They kind of. I mean, it's really kind of hard to improve on this particular. Look at the fit. It's really kind of hard to improve on this on this handgun because it's such a good handgun. It's so good. It's so smooth. It's so effortless. My wife shot this handgun. I wish she was. I wish she was down here. But I took this to the range and I shot this with my wife. And my wife and she preferred to have this. She liked this. She 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 was um, yo. For some reason, I I I don't know why, man. But for some reason, women are like frighteningly accurate with handguns i don't know what it is but um kind of startles me sometimes but yeah they are frighteningly accurate and she was actually pretty good if i could slide some footage if i can find it if i can find that footage i'll slide that in there but look at that grip it's like a spider man look at that hold on let me see if i can get that it's like a spider man kind of like you know it's weird like i don't know how they did that laser i know they did it with lasers laser beams man but yeah this is my walther pdp and i really really am fond of this particular handgun really fond of it i have some others that i need to do i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna i got a lot of other handguns man that i want you guys to be aware of but this one is one of the ones that I wanted to get out there really fast because I wanted you guys to see what's out there, what you could, what you should be, you know, what you could be thinking about if you're thinking about a first handgun. Um, I got an episode coming up about, um, oh, I'm not going to give it away. I can't give it away. I'm trying not to give it away. Kind of like a, um, like a, like a cliffhanger to a TV show. It's so many things and so many things I want to talk about and so much information I want to share with you guys that I get overwhelmed with wanting to share. I want to overshare. I want to overshare with you guys. Is that is is, is that wrong? Somebody comment down below. Should I be oversharing? Should I should I should I pull it back? Should I rein it back? Should I get rid of the foil? I know the foil is crazy, right? It's so distracting. Even to me, it's so distracting, but. I'll tell you what's not distracting. The aim and the accuracy of this firearm. I like it. I like it a lot. Hollison, always on point. Let's see if the camera plays nice with me. Play nice camera. Uh, uh, uh. Play nice. That dot is on there somewhere. It's in there. Let me see if I can turn it up. I'm gonna sign off in a minute. I know you can't see nothing with the shadow of the the um let's see. With the shadow of the see that? Can you see it? No, 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 no. Oh well, what the hell? I tried. I tried. I've been above and beyond. Like I said, if you're looking for a great holster, if you are looking for a great holster, check out my guy, man, T5. T5 custom Kydex, man. He, look at that. Specifically for me, inside the waistband, right handed. That's your guy. Super sturdy, super strong, with a cringy good fit. It is cringy good. My goodness, look at that. Cringy good. So slick. Good sound. Yo, if you are into handguns like I am into handguns, this sound is like. Love that sound. I don't know whether it's me or or I'm a, some kind of a freak weirdo, but I love that sound. Let me see something real quick. Listen to this. That sound is second. Oh, I'm telling you, that sound. This, this right here. I'm not even going to show you. You know what it is. You see what it is, right? You see what it is? I'm not even going to show you what I did to it because it's coming up in the next episode. And whatever you... Oh, I showed a little bit. See, I overshare. 
I've been overshare. I can't overshare. I gotta remember not to overshare. Okay, I'm not gonna overshare. I'm not gonna overshare. So I'm gonna get this out of here. I just wanted to show you the sound. I, I love the sound. The sound is awesome to me. So yeah, we're going back. Oh, oh, oh. Woo, I that sound, that sound is second to that. You hear that? That, that is what brings me to the game. You hear what I'm saying? That right there. That sound. I love it. I love it. Well, I don't know whether it's cringeworthy. I don't know whether uh, I feel it's only me that sound that feels like that, but that's how I feel. Whether you like it or you don't like it, learn to love it because it's the best thing going today. Woo! And that is Watch Your Six, man. And we are going to sign off hope everybody is living healthy i hope everybody is doing well today i hope everybody had a great day today let's have another one tomorrow all right and your boy's gonna sign off right about now had to come back for a second <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe and what was it like comment and subscribe i'm so new to this like comment subscribe check me out i'm on instagram Instagram at watcher watcher six and I'm on Instagram also at a B underscore the barber That was my previous so I still put up barber and posts and you know stuff crazy stuff on a B But my main my main page right now is watcher six. So go check me out. All right And I see you in the next one now we can sign off